Well, for, for people who are trying to grapple with that massive amount of unpredictability and a very fragmented approach to tooling, do you have a few kind of tips and tricks or things that people might start wrapping their head around so that they're more successful? Yeah, I mean, it's a key tip, and again, there's no magic, right? If somebody says to you, well, I'm going to onboard everything onto Kubernetes and it's going to run great, then it's not going to work that way, right? But the key piece here is uh, look at the silos and evaluate, assess yourself, right? How siloed are you still? Um, uh, how many different instances of Puppet and Chef and handwritten scripts and cron jobs and old databases with uh, people who hardly know the database technology anymore and it's three versions back and all of those things. How much of that stuff do you have in your enterprise? And uh, do this homework. Do this homework first to unify the automation. Right, get it all together and see where you are today, and uh, and and go from there. That, that's that's kind of the key uh, issue because we had this with cloud right a few years back when uh, th there was just a, a lack of automation homework and people went straight to cloud right. If you go straight to containers or you go straight to saying oh we now start releasing uh, once a week, once a day, three times an hour right. It's not going to work that way. You need to see that as a path and you need to get the architects together from the app end and from the operations end and uh, to converge the organization and it's a journey. Yeah, lift and shift doesn't work quite right. like that, right? You no. really have to map it out. Um, this the last question I, I've heard a lot uh, talking with some of the other customers here at the show is how to do DevOps at scale. Um, mm -hmm. We've talked to a lot of companies who have a pilot project, or they may have a few groups, you know, doing it mm -hmm. autonomously. What are some things that larger enterprises might think about as they're trying to uh, to scale? Mm. Definitely, that scale, right? If you don't do your homework in terms of automation, uh, in terms of including uh, the compliance team, the security team, um, the middleware team, basically uh, change the structure of how everything composed when you build it, I mean shift left is basically the term there, right? The developers are responsible for all of those issues that they're causing in operations um, uh, or you have to give the operations guys more input in how the stuff is developed, right? But you cannot it's, it's, you have to get the responsibilities back to the people who cause the problem. Otherwise, they feel like, yeah, you know, let's just throw it over the fence and uh, let's uh, let them uh, deal with the, the fallout in the end. So you have to fully automate the pipeline, unify the pipeline, uh, the DevOps pipeline. And um, uh, when you do that, then you also get the scalability because you get the... Uh, uh, the, the audit trail, right? You get uh, the machine-to-machine -machine interaction, you get the machine-to-human interaction, the whole release automation process and the integration process is all documented all of a sudden. But that's again a step-by-step -step process that you have to get to and once you're there you can all of a sudden scale it. And if you have ITIL or COVID or any of those other things that you have to worry about, um, you need to really address that in the form of automation, right? Not in the form of point solutions and exceptions and, um, uh, you know, uh, developers smoothing or making friends with the ops guys, but really um, uh, make something that you can standardize and that applies every single time and then kind of uh, augment your, your organization. Yeah, there's definitely people, you know, approaches. So we were joking earlier. I don't know how many donuts does it take to stand up a server? Because sometimes right. a little bribery will go a long way to yeah. get your infrastructure faster. Um, you know, it's been fascinating talking to talking to Torsten, talking to all the customers here, because there's a there's a set of tooling, mm -hmm. right? The actual tools and automation that you need to unify, but there's also a fair amount of, of process and people to it. And a lot of times people forget about the the people and process side of technology, and I think uh, it's interesting just to see yeah. see the evolution of the space. Uh, thanks for being my guinea pig. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Hopefully, this is just the first of many. Um, have a great rest of your day. Thank you.